I know over the years you've heard this speech a bunch of times. Heard it? Bitch, I wrote it. <laughs> but we need to remember why we do what we do. And today the stakes are even higher. Earth is gone. It's not coming back and nothing we do today is gonna change that. But one thing we can do is get revenge. And you better believe we're showing this motherfucker humanity isn't dead because we're still alive. This isn't about hope or faith or even about winning. Kinsey's right. Those things died on Earth. This is about will. This is about saying I don't give a shit how many times you knock me down. If I'm still breathing, I'm standing right back up. And you know what? You can hit as hard as you want because when I hit back, I'm going to lay your ass out, bitch. It's our time now. Let's get this shit started. Where is he? Last chance. Fuck you, slut. You're like Johnny Gat with better hair. I'm nothing like Johnny Gat. Fair, Gat was never self-righteous. Don't you dare confuse duty with self-righteousness. Yeah, because those two never fucking overlap. Says the President of the United States. You say the title like it's a dirty word. It is when the role is filled by a psychopath. Puckish role. <laughs> What? what the fuck is going on here? Who are you looking for? Your evil twin. What? Salvation within the Zin Empire. I'm smarter than all these people. Delightful. Kenzie, no! Protect the president! I do love your spirit, my dear. I'm Zinyak. Pleasure to meet you. Would you like to join me for a ride? I know firsthand what this war with the Zen has cost us. How many more need to die before we realize that the time has come for us to put aside our pride and focus not on division, but unity? Does Zinyak have a strong personality? Absolutely. But then again, so did the previous president. And you know what? When I look at the two of them, I see more similarities than differences. Both have proven leadership experience. Both maintain their composure in high-pressure situations. Both have a love of Jane Austen. But most importantly, both of them will not stop until they get what they want. For this war to end, we need to stop rattling sabers and realize that victory doesn't come from annihilating an enemy, but by making an enemy your friend. Getting us out of here. Gee, Kinsey, thanks for saving my life. Why, thanks, boss. I love being appreciated. Boss, I'm the president now. When did you turn into such a jerk? Surprise, Kinsey. I've always been an asshole. Thank you. I mean it. You're not wearing pants. This just got weird. A little bit. Can I fly now? Knock yourself out. You're remarkably calm right now. Hey, sometimes your exes try to kill you. What can you do, you know? 
You want to party? No, this isn't me. Shandy, you okay? This is getting weird. Get out. What's her problem? My problem? My problem is that I used to be you. This isn't a born-again thing, is it? No, she's future you. Makes sense. So what happens to me? What do you mean? Look, Shandi, let's get out no, no, of- No, 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 I want to hear what I have to say to myself. What did you mean, what happens to me? Well, evidently, I become a total frigid bitch, so I just wanted to know what's up. Oh, you mean I stop sitting around smoking drugs from a broken light bulb all day? Guys, maybe we should- Yeah, you're lame now. You used to have fun. I used to be useless. What? The most memorable thing you ever did was get captured by your smoked out ex. That's not true. I'm sorry. And fucking half of Stillwater. Go team. I always thought you were just really friendly and hated pants. Someone gets it. I hate me. Let's get out of here. I've been researching your friend, Pierce. Are you sure you wish to retrieve him? What kind of a question is that? An honest one. Historically, you spend nearly half your time ridiculing him. Yeah, but it's all in good fun. Making a man who risks his life for you and what you stand for the butt of your comedy routine is all in good fun? Yes? You're a terrible person. Can you give me the goddamn cipher? I'm saving his life, you know. You don't have to convince me. Just yourself. Drink up. We're talking about this later. look like out there it's bad why do i have a feeling that's a big understatement you know me too well we have a plan kind of kind of we're getting the band back together and then we're gonna kill zinyak that's not a plan that's a goal wait you got a better one kenzie you listening yeah i want to turn this whole simulation off you think you can do that with my help she can i don't need your help yes you do that's why you saved me first you saved matt before me brilliant computer hacker Record mogul. Experience with virtual worlds. Experience with street guns. My experience is empire building. Empire building? I'm sorry, who became fucking president of the United States? Who's the person that the fucking president of the United States asked to run their cabinet because they were way over their head? I was not in over my head. You are false. You called me at 3 in the morning asking me to run your election because you weren't polling for shit. There are some fine points you're glossing over there, buddy. You're right. You weren't asking me. You were begging me. Are you two finished yet? Keith, have you been watching the whole time? Yeah. And I'm just throwing this out there. I think there's only a passing similarity between me and Julius. Whatever, you're like the same person. How many of you guys are listening in on us? All of us? Let's not fight from the kids. Do you seriously have a plan? I do. Work it out with Kinsey and Matt and fill me in when we can execute. You got it. All right, I'm killing your connection, Benjamin. We'll see you soon. Hey, King. You really hate that you ended up in second place, don't you? Yeah. Feels weird not being in a shitty sports bar. We could always name the ship the Broken Shillelagh. Not funny. Kinsey, relax. Doing my best. Look, if you're worried about me going brain dead, I figure it's part of the deal. You have to say something. What aren't you telling me? Thanks, Matt. Kenzie. It's not you she's worried about. It's everyone else. Oh, this is gonna get real exciting. It doesn't matter. I have a feeling we're about to disagree. Saving Gat is a terrible idea. The fuck's got into you? You're out of line. The boss don't answer to you, honey. Bitch, you lucky we're standing in front of Keith David or Stop it! He's right, okay? It's a terrible idea. In order to save Johnny, we have to tap directly from our ship into his mind, and that means Zinyak's going to know exactly where we are. You're asking Matt and I to paint a target on humanity's last chance so that you can go rescue someone we've never even met. And what's even stupider is that we're going along with it. That guy you just beat the shit out of is risking everything to save your friend. And you want to know why? Because we can't save ours anymore. I'm not late to the briefing, am I? We haven't started yet. I'm waiting on Miller. I still feel bad about punching Matt in the face. He'll get over it. Or he'll kill me in my sleep. That's always a possibility, too. Whoa, 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 guys. Can we just get to murdering already? We got a problem. 
Now we're talking. What's up? The Zin are coming. Here? That's probably why he said it's a problem. All right, let's take cover. We should be able to ambush them. Not so sure about that. Hey, Kinsey, you want to fuck? Let's go. Nolan! Hey, what's up, buddy? We're making a game about me. Gotta have you do the video, man. I mean, see, here's the thing. People tell me we sound alike.